Our big news today is that Elise's cast is officially off. What do you want to be for Halloween? All right, Lise, what are we at the doctor for today? Taking off my cast. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah. Very or just a little bit? I'm excited but a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Caleb's out climbing up trees, setting up a frisbee golf course. That was awesome. How did it feel? Weird. Weird. It was loud. Did it hurt at all? No. No? Could you feel it like it wiggling? It felt like vibrating down there, but like yeah. it was cool. So they sawed through the hard cast and now they're cutting through the little sock part at the end. How does it feel? Weird. Weird. She's washing her hands. Both of them. All right, the cast is off. The x-rays are done. We still need to talk to the doctor and see a physical therapist for a little bit, but how's it feeling? Good. Are you still feeling a little nervous to move it? Yeah, but like I've been doing my thumbs up like this for a long time. Yeah. There's a little bit of discoloration just because her skin hasn't been able to be exfoliated underneath the cast. But that'll come off. Welcome to the porch. Wave hello. Read a book. Visit with family and friends. Take a nap. It's been exciting because as Laura is reading more and more, the world is just opening up and there's stuff all over that she's reading. I can read. <laughs> what do you think of that? I know how to read, so I can read stuff to my little, my younger siblings. Like Janae? Mm hmm which is my only younger sibling. Janae has been loving this tricycle. She's on it a lot. Whoa. Look at that trick, one foot. Janae has a few tricks she's developed too. She'll do it with no hands. No one hands? Foot. She'll also skid to a stop right before she rams into something. That's one of my personal favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Lift off! So your cast is off. What's it like? It feels so weird. Has anything surprised you from this change of having the cast off? I prefer things with my left hand. Right now, right hand. you're more used to it. So you did some physical therapy after they took the cast mm -hmm. off. What are some of the exercises they have you doing? Then I have to do this. How much do you have to do that every day? 60 times on all of them. like one, Each different three. exercise? And then I have to do that three times a day. Whoa. I know, it's fun. Between her two different casts, she was in a cast for six weeks. And so to be able to have that mobility coming back to her right wrist is really exciting for her. What are some of the things you've been most excited to do now that you don't have the cast on? My hair. Like brushing your hair? No, no, like putting my hair up in a bun, braiding it, and I'm able to shower. 
without a bag on your arm. I'm so happy. No more baths. Now I'm able to go on the zip line. <laughs> and I'm able to swing higher. And I'm able to do more stuff. More stuff. Stuff. Like the four-wheeler. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm able to go on the four-wheeler. So we loaded up in the car to go to the creek and there's a park ranger at the front blocking it off and they said that we can't go up there today. There's actually a forest fire that's been contained higher up in the mountains, but they're using that area for the firefighters as kind of a base. So we're just grateful to hear that the small forest fire was contained. We found another creek nearby. We're gonna come explore. It's a little rough getting down there, but it looks nice once you're down there. This creek has tons of rocks in it, which makes for a really fun creaking. I love the soothing sound of a creek bubbling along. So I love hiking and I love being in nature and I do great on most trails, but when I'm just climbing over rocks, I'm not super confident. I'm just nervous about falling or twisting an ankle or I don't know what it is. I just get in my head about it and so I'm pretty slow when I'm scrambling over rocks and the family gets way ahead of me because they have skills. Ready to go on the steps? There you go. We found some steps along the edge of the creek. You girls taking a little rest? Mm-hmm. This is like beautiful. This is a fun area to explore. I went like this. Poison ivy. Poison ivy. Are you looking out for poison ivy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, poison ivy. We'll look out for it. One of the funnest parts of this is just the exploring. Seeing what's around the corner and what the creek is going to be like up ahead. It's really fun. You getting tired? Yeah, there's a bee. There's a fly. What? Every what? fly she thinks is a bee though. Flies don't hurt you. Getting on you. It's okay. It's just a fly. Ah, in my hair. <laughs> Go for it, Laura. Nice. I don't put a pebble on top. No. <gasps> Great one. It's poison ivy. This stick is not poison ivy. What? Thanks for checking. Jimmy took a nap today. That's happening less and less. But it's time for her to wake up. Elise has been reading a lot today. What are you reading, Lacey? The Long Winter. It's one of the Laura Ingalls Wilder books. I finished the other one this morning, so I wanted to start this one. Right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. We're really lucky. Grandma has the whole series, and so she's been reading through it. I think this is book five in the series. It is. Yeah, there's just two more left. Good. Do you think you're gonna read the whole series? Yes. So Halloween is coming up. We still haven't figured out exactly what we're gonna be doing, but we know the kids want to dress up. I'd love to hear in the comments what you're doing. Are you dressing up? Are you going trick-or-treating? It's just such a crazy year. Daddy, what? I'm gonna be a puppy and then on the next Halloween, I'm gonna be a princess. You wanna be a puppy? Yeah, and then on the next Halloween, I'm gonna be a princess. So this Halloween puppy, next Halloween princess? Mm-hmm. Great idea. Oh, I'm gonna be Hermione Granger. Oh. I, I'm, I don't know exactly what the costume's gonna be. We've looked at some, and they're super cute. Oh, and yeah. hopefully I get the wand and the scarf and like... I'm gonna you know, be Wonder frizzy Woman. your hair. I'm gonna be Wonder Woman and Superwoman. Wonder Woman and Superwoman, or just one or the other? I'm going to be Wonder Woman or Superwoman. Why did you decide that? You've been princesses in the past. Because I was getting bored of princesses. And last year I, I did a princess, but then, and, but then right when I had it on, I was 
thinking that I wanted to be. Like a superhero? Like a superhero. Okay, well this year you get to do it. They're still doing frisbee golf. This has been all day. What do you want to be for Halloween? I would like to be a motorcycle racer or a coronavirus germ. A coronavirus germ? Yep. That might be a little insensitive. I don't know if we're going to go with that one. We're it not. is creative though. But we're going to be motor, I'm going to be a motorcycle racer. How about you? Link, Link from then, Zelda? Yeah. Awesome. And then I'm going to be a puppet for Halloween, and then I'm going to be a, a, a princess for the next Halloween, and then I think you're going to be the prince. The prince? Uh -huh. mm. I want a prince with me. You want a prince if you're the princess? Can I be your prince? No, I need a smaller prince. I've been trying to get out and hike, walk, and jog more this month, and it's been feeling great to spend more time on the trails out here. I got some new workout pants, and I've been totally excited because they have pockets. I don't know how I've gone this long in my life without workout clothes with pockets, but I love them. It's a game changer to have pockets. Pocket. So we love the squirrels here at the cabin, but there is one squirrel in this tree right by our patio that is always eating pine cones and then tossing them down on us. It almost feels intentional. So you can see stuff just f falling out of the tree. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Mr. Peanuts. We're down here. Hi, Mr. Peanut. Having fun up there? So you've been spending a lot of time up in this tree. Yeah. Doing what? I've been reading. You even like set up a little makeshift library up here, right? Mm-hmm. Here, let's see if we can see it. I set it up with this jacket. So then basically, um, because of the kind of bark, this is an alligator juniper, so it can't really like move on it as much. Like it won't, it won't slide. And I don't have really anything holding it up, but it's holding all the books I'm reading right now. I have a mystery, the Van Gogh deception, a biography about James Madison, and Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. And then recently I, I've been reading the Constitution. So yeah, that's what I've been doing up here. Thanks for not dropping the camera. So it's been several weeks now and we're still doing the afternoon snack tray most of the time and it's going really well, we really like it. I like making it feel beautiful and bright and full of different fruits and vegetables and the kids like eating it. So there is cheese. Blueberries, sugar snack, please. Beef turkey. Beef jerky. Beef jerky, uh, cucumbers, celery, and crackers go with the cheese. Nice. So what is your favorite thing that is on the snack tray today? This cheese with these crackers. Yum. And what's your favorite vegetable on the tray today? <laughs> celery. You really like celery, don't you? It's not even time yet, but I helped him suggest the cracker. You helped me make it, didn't you? All right, let's get the kids. Snack time. Want some cheese on it? What's your favorite part of the snack tray? The beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> you mean beef jerky? And I've also started liking pepper jack cheese. I tried it a few days ago, and I loved it. Yeah, it's got a little kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah. And after. We're done snacking. And Elise is back to reading. So for our read aloud tonight, Kendra is finishing Rascal, which is a book about a boy and his raccoon. Then tonight, Kendra is going to be starting the Boxcar Children with the kids, which is, this is one of the first times we're rereading a book that we read before as a family, probably about seven or eight years ago. So it'll be fun for Caleb and Laura and Janae to really grasp and understand what's happening in that story. Good night, Jay Hasso. about to turn into a cast. This is the carburetor. I love that the big kids wanted to join in. Yes! <laughs> 